my opinion, I think the soundtrack is one of the most important features in a video game, as I believe that the soundtrack can make any video game great. Since I have an interest in music over the years, we're going to be looking at my top 10 favourite soundtracks in video games. We are going to be looking at games that caught my attention when it comes to music, whenever if it's humming, clapping to the beat, or just singing out loud. We are looking at video game music only, so no mainstream popular music are allowed, as they are two completely different genres. And also, to keep things fair, only one game per franchise. And with that said, let's begin the verse with number 10. I freaking love the God of War series, and I cannot wait for the new God of War game coming out very soon on PlayStation 4. God of War 3 is so far my favourite game out of the series. The fun combat, Kratos just being an absolute badass on beating his enemies, and of course, the soundtrack. I find that the soundtrack in this game is just epic to listen to, and listening to the soundtrack while playing this game makes you feel like a badass as you're trying to get your enemies to beg for mercy. If I was to say what's my favourite TV show to watch on Nickelodeon back in the day, it would have to be SpongeBob SquarePants. As I've stated before that I don't watch the newer episodes as it's too gimmicky, but I did enjoy some of its video games growing up. One of the things I like about the Spongebob Squarepants movie game is its soundtrack. The soundtrack just fits the Spongebob vibe very nicely. Even though the Spongebob Squarepants movie game doesn't really hold up today, the soundtrack in this game is enjoyable to listen to. definitely consider reviewing more Spider-Man games like this one in the future. What do you guys think? Spider-Man the movie game is an okay video game. It's not the best Spider-Man game out of the Spider-Man series, but it is something worth checking out if you're interested. But if there's one thing that I like about this game, is its soundtrack. Because when I played this game as a kid, I literally thought that the soundtrack in this game was from the movie. That's how good the soundtrack is in Spider-Man the Movie Game. South Park is a very interesting TV show. Yes, it can be offensive, and yes, it can be rude at times, but that's what made South Park famous in the first place. And with South Park having over 20 seasons, it looks like South Park won't be going anywhere anytime soon. And of course, with the popularity South Park was getting, Trey Parker and Matt Stone decided to make a South Park video game. The Stick of Truth is a hilarious game, filled with easter eggs from the show, and making the player feel like you're watching an episode of South Park. The soundtrack in this game is basically ripping off the RPG genre, and it works brilliantly. Listening to this music while exploring around people's houses, buildings, and even City Wonk is an absolute pleasure. Since I was a fan of Oblivion, I couldn't wait to get my hands on Skyrim. And from start to finish, I had a lot of fun. Killing dragons, the fun side quests, and using the Fusra Dashout on everyone. 
As a matter of fact, I had so much fun that I decided to go for Platinum, both on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Much like God of War 3, Skyrim's soundtrack is just epic to listen to. When you're exploring, the soundtrack is peaceful. But when you're in combat, the soundtrack is intense. And as much as I like Skyrim, I'm already sick to death of Bethesda doing re-releases of Skyrim, including on Virtual Reality and Nintendo Switch. Don't be surprised if Skyrim is released on PlayStation 5 before the next Elder Scrolls game. The soundtrack in Crash Twin Sanity is... interesting. Nothing groundbreaking or anything, just interesting. The music in this game is composed by an a cappella group named Spiral Mouth. This was one of those, I'm going to try something new to the series and see if it works moment, and it worked. The soundtrack is nice, very catchy, and easy to get hooked onto. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, you! I've been doing this for 10 stinking years! Back and forward, back and forward, and I'm sick of it! Well, I'm not gonna do it no more! Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. I apologize I don't have the gameplay footage for this game, as I'm still working on getting a PlayStation 1 console, but I could not make this video without putting this game on the list. The Empress New Groove game is a simple platform game that's very underrated in my opinion, and this game is accompanied by an awesome soundtrack. After listening to this soundtrack as a kid, the songs just kept playing in my head for days. Especially, the Squirrel Chase song. Okay, if I had to say what's the one thing up your arsenal excels over going commando slash locked and loaded, is the soundtrack. I feel that like Opio Arsenal has a more upbeat than the previous game. The soundtrack sounds awesome as you're trying to kill enemies, but still enjoying the music at the same time. Even Blackwater Cities and Kiwan's music returns in this game with a remix. Something that I actually like. The Simpsons Hit and Run, or Grand Theft Auto Springfield as I like to call it, is another underrated game that deserves more attention in my opinion. Hopefully one day we could see a possible remastered edition on next gen consoles. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. The soundtrack in Simpsons Hit and Run fits the Simpsons style nicely, as it feels like I'm watching an episode of The Simpsons with that soundtrack. Another reason why I like it is because there's different genres of music. Rock music, jazz music, and even Indian music. They all fit the Simpsons vibe, and as a kid, I loved every minute of it. So, all good things must come to an end, right? Well, before we groove you onto the dance floor for the number one hit single, here is a few honorable mentions.
Back when I was a kid, I only played Spyro Year of the Dragon, and Spyro, enter the goddamn piece of freaking shite, Dragonfly. So since you only live once, I decided to make up for lost time and play Spyro the Dragon and Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage slash Gateway to Glimmer. And the soundtrack for Spyro the Dragon is just simply amazing. It feels like you're going on an adventure while listening to this music. The composer of this game's soundtrack is none other than Stuart Copeland. You may recognize him as the drummer for a music band called The Police. And I could talk more about how good the soundtrack is in this game, but the best way to do that is by experiencing it for yourself. Just have a listen. was my top 10 favorite soundtracks in video games. And if you disagree with this list, then be sure to comment down below and tell me what is your favorite video game soundtrack of all time. But until then, thank you for watching this top 10 video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, share the video and subscribe today. My name is a gaming critic telling you to keep calm and keep playing video games.